So, Jade has been begging me to come on camera now for days and days and days. So, yeah, now Jade is your moment of your, your, your time. This is your time. This is your time to shine. This is your moment of fame. I don't want to say anything though. Come on. Tell, just, you, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the porno I style. I We're gonna, you I can guess. just, this time you can just say whatever he's gonna say. So, just start off, just start off, introduce yourself, say hi, and tell everyone about your day. I feel like I'm being interviewed. Yeah, but we're not doing that. That's what I'm saying. You can just say the stuff now. Yeah, but I can't do that because I can't talk to a camera. You can. Just talk. Go on, right. Say hello. Hello. No. Say hi, guys. How are you? Like. Hi, guys. How are you? And then just say what you've been doing today. So go through your day from start to finish. So that's Obviously, don't point, yeah. include the thing, very first thing this morning. Because there'll be a lot of jealous girls. <laughs> Come on. So uh, Asma got me up early and we went for McDonald's. Fat bastards we are. <laughs> and then what did we do, babe? And then we went and bought a jet wash. And Asma jet washed the patio. But it wouldn't let me do it. No, I let you have a go. A little bit. But you you were but a bit, it was a, it was was a, a joint little... venture. We, you did bits and not certain bits and yeah. I did the other bit. And there's big spiders, big spiders, wasn't there? That's the bit you're gonna remember. Yeah. And that's it really. I, don't, I can't do this. I hate doing it. I can't. I can't talk to a camera. Well, what else have we done? We're now going to Blue Water and we're going to have Wagamamas because I'm going to have Wagamamas. It's my favourite food. And then we're going to have a little walk round, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favourite dish at Wagamamas? That's a difficult one. But I think it's got to be the Wagamama Pad Thai. Well, you prefer that to Katsu? Yeah. And yeah. what is the most exciting news that you've had this weekend? This weekend? Yeah. Exciting news? Yeah. When we were at Blue Water the other day, what happened that was really exciting? We went for Lebanese, didn't we? <gasps> yeah. And then, but what did we see that was ultra exciting? Oh, what exciting? I'm just a bit of a slap spotter. No, oh. I'm not talking about that. Oh. I'm talking about something that was actually exciting. I don't know. Come on. I don't know what it was. Where, what, what is okay. opening at Blue Water? Oh, that's exciting for you. That's hyper exciting. Five guys. Five guys? Yeah. Jodie, she's at Five Guys. <laughs> Jodie likes Five Guys. Um, yeah, it's opening in, in Blue Water. I know. That's, that's the second one in the UK, isn't it? No, there's a few more. There's two in London, one in Guildford, and now this one. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Why um, do you sound like a bit of a retard today? Because my throat's really sore because I was talking to your family all night, all night last night. I was very sore. What happened last night? We had your uncle's 60th, didn't we? In Dulwich. Yeah. In, I would like to live in Dulwich. Yeah. One of the big houses in Dulwich. Very nice place. But yeah, it was a really good night, wasn't it? What happened? What happened? Yeah. What was it about? It was about Paul's 60th. Who's Paul? Your uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Who was there? All your family. And? Friends. <laughs> oh my days. This is hard work, I tell you. <coughs> do you know what? I do say though that when I first started doing vlogs, I could barely string two minutes together. And now, like the other day I did one that was over 20 minutes long. And I, I could talk to these guys like all day long. I've got like, how many subscribers are there on the vlog channel? I think it's that as well, because you see like the results, do you know what I mean? Like, I think when you... What do you mean the results? When you talk to yourself on camera, you then upload it. Yeah, but I don't watch what, it. What do you mean? I don't watch it, well, I just upload watch, it. No, no, you don't watch it, but you see results from it. You see people liking it, you see people making comments and stuff like that. So it's almost like they're talking back to you. 
Yeah, I suppose so, but it's kind of a bit delayed. It's a bit like when I ask you like a, a mathematical question. It's a bit like when I'm talking to you and you're on your phone or doing something and you're not listening and then the delayed response comes after about five to ten minutes. <laughs> no, but anyway, what I was saying was that it is actually more difficult than you might imagine. It has taken me quite a long time to be able to get to that stage. And now, like, there's 12,000 subscribers on the um, on the vlog channel. How you can't you can't be talking on your phone when you're vlogging? Sorry. How rude was that? No, I wasn't being. That rude. was so rude. I was booking my gym um, lesson actually. But we're vlogging here. There really? is when you're vlogging. There's nothing else that can take your take your priority. It's when it's another spot. Jesus. There's yeah. Beach body so wedding. basically, I've I've got um, about 12,000 best friends. Basically, they all talk to me every day. How many friends have you got? Five. <laughs> Five guys. <laughs> no, me and Jenny were saying last night that you can most probably count as you get older. You can most probably count your real close friends that you talk to a lot about everything on one hand. Yeah. She said that, like when, especially if they've got short names. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. And she said when she first got with Dan, she had loads of friends. And then when they started like staying in and having like meals and stuff like that and, and not really going out that much, you sort of find out who your true friends are, which I think is quite true. Indeed. Anyway, Jade, you've done a very good job. I commend you on your uh, taking the piss and sitting on your phone whilst we vlog together. No, oh, I didn't mean to do it. I wasn't being rude. I sent my program off the other day for the, these guys. Did you? Yeah, Paul's did. Blimey. Didn't I? That's... She said, you can't watch telly while you're talking. I said, I'm not watching telly, I'm Paul's in it. That is a miracle. And it was Catfish. Which is a really good program. Do you is ever it? tell you what Catfish is about? No, oh. no, no. Oh my God, oh my God, there you go. Look, Jade just worked out how to vlog. Right at that very moment, <laughs> she just began to expand I all on her is. own, all on her own. And then we would not have shut her up for about another three hours. So fortunately, we are going to end right at this I can precise tell you what moment. Is about, it's good. No. So Jade is upstairs being ridiculously noisy with the Hoover, which is really putting me off my stride uh, with some work that I'm trying to do at the moment. So when, uh, how can I explain this? So if you're using Citrix in a RDS session host type way using Zen App or Zen Desktop App Edition, really you want to have like a golden image. And when we say golden image, what we mean by that is you have one image that's got everything on it and then from that you can build lots of others. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can either use a tool like Provisioning Server which enables you to have one golden image and then all of the others boot from it using a pixie boot technology and the operating system is just streamed across the network as and when certain uh, blocks of data are read or written. And that's fine, but unless you've got some serious storage to put that on in terms of IOPS and performance, then it's not necessarily the best route to go down. So a lot of people in smaller environments just have the machines built individually but they actually clone them from a single source so every time they need to do an update they just blow them away update the central one and then redeploy them from that template the difficulty is when you're trying to do that is individualization so there are some tools with Citrix for example that help you to do that with some of their services but there's a whole bunch of apps that do things like put the machine name in the registry um, hold maybe config files as well something like that and therefore when maybe the a central tool polls it or when it launches the application it maybe thinks that it's on a machine that it isn't and it confuses stuff things like antivirus for example where you've got a central server and that one is monitoring all the others if the registry key for that particular server if they're all reading the same because they've all been cloned from the same machine then they're all going to register as one device into that central management console and that's going to cause loads of issues so sometimes creating um, individualization scripts can be a real pain in the ass and that is what I am doing right now because this particular set of Citrix servers has got 
so many different weird entries uh, in both the registry and also in a whole bunch of different config files. So rather than having to go through and sort it out each time, you re-clone or redeploy from a central template. I just want to be able to have it deploy, run a script that does the individualization, and then bang away you go, joins it to the domain, grabs its own IP address, re-puts a new SID on the box, um, all of the other individualization as well. So that's kind of what I'm working on at the moment. Um, I don't know if that was of any interest to anybody, but sometimes you guys ask. Hello, how the fuck are you all? And it is the morning after the night before that you probably would have just been watching. Sometimes it's, it's impossible to kind of just record in the morning and then only go to the afternoon because then I miss out the whole evening. So I might have to start recording the next days after I upload the day befores, if you know what I mean. Because I upload sort of maybe 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I think I need to start the next video in the evening that day. Uh, and then upload it the next day at 3 o'clock, if that makes sense. Anyway, as you can see, the beard has gone. Uh, it began to get on my nerves a little bit, so I just had to get rid of it. And a busy, busy day today. I was up early this morning uh, chatting to the developers about the applications that we're doing. One of them I can't tell you about at all because it's completely top secret. It's nothing out of this world amazing or anything like that. But I think for the people that will use it, I think they'll absolutely love it. So that's quite cool and that's been started already. In addition to that, the Twitter app is coming along nicely as well. So really looking forward to getting the first kind of version of that sort of up and running and tested. And obviously for those of you that entered the Indiegogo scheme uh, for to be part of the beta, you will see that as well. So that should be pretty interesting as well. Really looking forward to getting everyone's feedback uh, on that one. Got a busy day today. I've also got to post some parcels as well. I have sold uh, this, which is the Tascam DR100. Now that I've got my Zoom H6, I just don't need this anymore. So I've sold it. Uh, got a very good price for it, actually. So pretty happy with that. I also uh, have to send off a couple of letters. And I've got some other parcels as well, things that I've sold. So I've got to get rid of that as well. And then uh, tonight I will be back to the gym for some more uh, training. And it's so lovely to be back in uh, into the training as well. Uh, tonight will be Muay Thai. Hopefully we'll be doing a little bit of stand-up uh, sparring, which will be nice. Although my face might not look so nice tomorrow. But hopefully I can do my usual and get out of the way uh, as soon as possible. So that's pretty much uh, my day today. But I will obviously catch up with you guys a little bit later. So I just got done posting all of the parcels. I ended up like walking into the uh, post and packing shop, which fortunately is only a couple of minutes away from me with this huge mound of boxes that I had to send off. Uh, it's a real pain in the backside sending stuff. And I know you can get people to come and pick it up from you, but none of them are pick up same day, deliver tomorrow before 1 p.m., which if I take it down there is the service that I get. Everything I send out is there tomorrow at 1 p.m. Because anytime I kind of sell anything or someone buys something off me or I'm just posting something, I want it to be there as soon as possible. You know, when I order something, I want it with me next day, without doubt, uh, before 1 p.m. And I want to give other people the same kind of experience. So I always do that. I just wish there was a way that you could just kind of go online, type in your address and some details, and they would come within that day even if it was you had to do it before 10 a.m or something and then it would go next day same as that special delivery does with uh i think it's parcel force or royal mail or something jesus i'm glad i'm doing this in the car now because it's absolutely just like pissing down look at that um yeah i wish there was some better easier way of doing it but unfortunately uh i don't think there is although if you guys are aware of anything then uh, please do let me know a big thank you to you guys again on the likes we had a couple of videos that went over a thousand likes which is insane so uh thank you so much even yesterday's one i think was up to about 600 so if we can keep hitting a thousand uh that would really make me so happy so please do continue to do that i really uh, appreciate that more than anything else and and the guys that are using my amazon links as well thank you so so much um that really does uh, help out a lot it helps kind of contribute towards some of the costs so thank you so much for that and i've got so much work on this afternoon sometimes you know like work is just never ever ending it's just like one thing after another and you have to really just embrace it you have to be like you know this is a good thing you have to always constantly tell yourself that this is a good thing that's happening 
and it would be so much worse if there was no work at all. And that's what I try and do anyway, just to kind of make myself feel a bit better about the absolute ridiculous amount of work that I've got to do at the moment. Right, I'm just about to jump on a webinar. So that's going to be it from me today, guys. I will be back with you tomorrow. Uh, today I am on serious diet mode. It's one of my two uh, days. I'm doing the two the two on five off kind of diet um, that I've read quite a lot about. So I'm bloody starving and all I want to do is go and eat some food, but I can't. <laughs> but anyway, on that note, I will see you in the next video. Peace.